Once upon a nightmare, there lived a fairy named Mina. One night, Mina was staring off into the backyard and noticed a lot of deer. Hey, Fen, come check out all these deer back here. Wow, that's majestic. Hey, Bandit, want to go play with the deer? What are you, crazy? No, Bandit cannot go play with the deer. Ah, uh, too late. I already let him out. Bandit, no. Get back here. Mina yelled. Bandit turned to come back, but it was too late. The deer began chasing Bandit. It's fine. He made it. See, everything's okay. I feel like you should get away from the fence. They don't look friendly. Stop freaking out. What do you think they're going to do? Jump the fence? And not even a minute later, they did, in fact, jump the fence. Holy crap, Mina. Get inside the house. I'll handle this. Mina and Bandit went inside the house, and Finn began to fight the deer. Oh no, what should I do? Just then, Finn made it inside. It's okay, we'll be fine. They are still out there. Did you lock the door? Why would I lock the door? A deer can't open a door. It will be okay. I'm just gonna go to sleep. You should go to bed too. I feel like I should call the police. What are the police going to do? Just go to sleep. But Mina could not just go to sleep. She stared out the window, and to her horror, a deer opened the door. Hello, Mina. The deer spoke. Mina was frozen in terror. She thought to herself, Where is my cell phone? Suddenly, looking down, she noticed it in her hand. She began to call 911. The deer began to laugh at her, and he said, What do you think 911 is going to do? The deer stared at her, but he did not touch her. She just stared back at him without being frightened. She glanced out the window and seen that the police had arrived. Ma'am, your phone called 911. Could you come outside? She looked around and seen the deer had left the house. So she went outside to talk to the police officers. They listened to her story, although they didn't really seem like they believed her. It's okay, ma'am. We'll keep an eye on your house for the rest of the night. It's almost daytime. Just go ahead and go inside and take a nap. I don't know, Bandit. Maybe I'm going crazy. I guess I'll try to sleep. Mina went to sleep, thinking maybe it was just a nightmare. But the next day, she noticed the black goo all over the chair that Finn had sat in. How could this have been a nightmare? So she asked Finn. Finn, what happened last night here? You remember, right? Huh? What is it you're talking about? I slept, you slept, we woke up. Bandit, I don't know what happened. I guess I am just crazy. You remember, right? That night, just as Mina was about to lay down to sleep, she heard a voice calling her name. Mina! Mina, come outside! And so she did. Mina, do not be scared. Come to me. Mina walked toward the voice. Mina, it is okay. Do not be scared. You have a light inside of you, a light that will protect you. They might try to scare you, but do not be scared of them. They cannot hurt you anymore. And then the light disappeared, and Mina turned around. And at the door was the deer man. She was no longer scared, though. And she looked and growled at him, and she said, Get away from my house. He was scary looking, but she was not scared of him. From that day forth, the deer would come, but they would not enter her house. It is a strange world, isn't it? 
Mina knew that something was different with this life, that she did not have all the answers, but she was okay with that, and her and Bandit lived happily ever after.